Hey guys, Waluigi Walkthroughs here with some more Super Paper Mario. I know it's been long overdue, but I just wanted to get Ratchet and Clank done. In the last part, we finished off Chapter 5, and in this part, we're starting Chapter 6. I know, how sequential. It's so nice to go from 5 to 6, and then from 6 to 7, then from 7 to 8. We're getting near there, we're getting near the end. So, before we go put the Pure Heart into the Heart Pillar, well, we first need to go over to flop side because all the next hard pillars are all in flip flop side. Okay. Right. Um, before we actually go do that, um, I've got a few things I need to take care of. And actually, before we really do chapter six, I have other things I need to take care of in this game that you guys will thank me, you guys will thank me later for it if anybody ever actually thanks me for any of this stuff. Um, but anyway, let's head over to flop side. And the first thing that we're going to do, now that I'm looking at my notes, uh, it's going to definitely help us to actually get around from place to place. As you can see, it takes us a long time to travel from flip side to flop side. So first things first, let's uh, head over to the second floor of flop side. This is flop side first floor. Hey look, a locked door. And uh, let's wait for the meter to go up a little bit. Now let's go. Alright. So let's head on up one more floor. I believe that's what it says on my notes. Yes, I had to take notes because, well, there's a lot of stuff I need to do. Anyway. Now what we want to do is head into 3D here. Mario's records, what is this? Coins found, enemies defeated. Oh, okay, I never knew that that was there. Anyway, we want to go over here and talk to this guy. You might remember him, he's the drill guy. Ah, another great day for Welderberg. Working in the sunshine just feels so good, yeah. This old man is happy. I don't see any sun, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. This is not Super Mario Sunshine. That game was alright. Anyway, so he's going to make a pipe leading directly to Flipside for only 300 coins. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Anyway, this guy, he's going to make a pipe for us that will lead directly from here in Flopside all the way to its exact location in Flipside. Only flip-flopped. And this is very helpful for what's to come. Or for what I'm about to do. And this will be very helpful, period, for us to just quickly go through one pipe and automatically appear on the other side so it's open 24 hours a day 365 days a year wise people are always being more efficient you made the wise decision yeah this pipe is definitely a good investment to make so now that we got this pipe down we're not actually going to be using it for the time being but what we are going to do is head off to the heart pillar yeah and now we're going to head off to the heart pillar the reason why I, why I wanted to do this now is because well hold on a second let me save the reason why I wanted to do this now is because, well, we're already here in order to get to the heart pillar, and I just wanted to do that first before I forgot. Oh, don't want to fall in there. Alright, what we want to do is over there is a block, now that we've got Kudge, who we picked up in Chapter 5-2, was it? Anyway, we want to destroy this block. DESTROY! And this reveals a pipe. There's nothing else really around here, so don't worry yourself about it. Anyway, this leads us down to flop side, first floor outskirts. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, I was just quickly checking my notes. Yeah, I gotta continually check my notes because I forget what I'm doing. Yeah, I was just checking where exactly we need to go in order to get the heart pillar because I completely forgot about it. I practiced this chapter a couple of days ago, so it's not fresh in my memory. So to the hero, have you forgotten already? So that's basically telling us, yeah, you want to go into 3D. There's a pipe here, we're going to be heading down there later. But first we want to get to the heart pillar. So let's get out Dottie first. Head into 3D and head down this 3D pathway. So the reason why we got Dottie out is because you want to get under this little walkway. And the only way you can do that is with Dottie. Clever, isn't it? How they're making us use our partners, yeah, it's it's very ingenious of them. Yeah, it's something you wouldn't have thought of before earlier in the game. Using the new abilities that you just acquired. Anyway, do some carefully precision platforming, get out Kudge, and destroy this block. Now step on the switch. 
and this reveals the next heart pillar. Oh, look at that! Mario's not even standing on the Switch! How's that possible? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, this is the heart pillar, so let's go put the pure heart in the, well, the heart pillar. I think that's a safe assumption to make. This goes in there! This is going to be one of the last times we're actually going to be seeing this little cutscene. I know, it's sad. I'm crying. And this reveals... The darker blue door! Ooh. Anyway, so now we got the dark blue door. Um, we're not actually heading off there yet, because, well, Merlin's going to be telling us all this crap. At the Duel of the Hundred, so what? If you fall to the hundred, the chaos will grow, world grows and the purity heart fades. And as that happens, the hero will fall to the world where all games are ended. Interesting. That's in the section of the light prognosticus that I just deciphered. It seems to suggest that if you fail to pass these duels, all hundred of them? And apparently your lives will be lost along with the purity heart. Oh, that sucks. I know that what I have just shared with you might not only serve to discourage you, yeah, you think? I still must send you forth, however. Um, how about you go to go face a hundred duels and we'll stay here, sip some iced tea, eat some cookies, I don't know, maybe Peach might bake me a cake? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I still am waiting for that cake. Still am waiting, and I don't want to fall down anymore, just jump, there we go. Alright, so now we gotta head back to that one pipe that I said we weren't gonna head through yet. So, let's miniaturize. Yeah, Dottie's not gonna be really used a whole lot, um, except for a few select secrets, but... Yeah, this is probably one of the last times I'm gonna be using Dottie. She's not very, not very helpful. Anyway, let's head over, let's get something good like... Carrie. Carrie's always a good partner. Anyway, let's head over down this pipe. We're gonna be doing a bit of some exploring of Flopside. Yep, we did some exploring of Flipside, now we're gonna do some exploring of Flopside. So what we wanna do is get take out Kudge. Kudge, Kudge. And destroy the block. And now there's another pipe we can go down there. Before, before we go down there, let's look in 3D. This is a pretty little interesting place. I mean, there's kind of a... 3D area to it that we can't. Oh, background and a foreground. I, we can't really get into the background yet. Maybe we can actually. Let me check. There should be an opening here somewhere. Oh well. Anyway, now that we've got that passage open, we can go down this pipe. And there are going to be quite a few things that we're going to be getting. Good things, I might add. Very good things. So before we do that, let's head over here. There's another block. And let's destroy it. We'll step on the switch, and the passage is opened, and inside the passage is, OMG, a large chest, what's in here? We got the power plus, a quick burly quick item, raises attack by one permanently. This is most desired item to get, so now that we're going to use it, it will permanently increase everyone's attack by one. So let's take a look at our stats. So now we and Peach can attack by 7 and Bowser can attack by 14. This is very, very helpful. So now that we got that, let's head over and do some other stuff. If we head down this little opening and head down these little passageways, is there anything over here? Nope. Alright. If we head down these little passages, there is a chest there. And inside this chest is... We got the berry card. Awesome. Hold on a sec, you guys. Someone's calling me. Oh, wow. That took a while. Yep, I was paused there for probably a couple of minutes. Yeah, that's definitely not a good thing. Yeah, it was somebody I knew. Another one of my family members calling me. Not complaining or anything. It just, I just kind of wish that I could be left in peace. And no! All right. We gotta jump back up again. What do you do when you fall off the horse? I don't know, I'm not a gymnast. Heck, it is a joke. 
Anyway, you want to go into pixel, I mean tippy mode, and reveal these secret blocks. And like we did in the last time, when flip side over here is some interesting little, little interesting area. Now we're gonna need Peach for this, so let's get Peach out. What? Oh, come on, how did I just fall through that block? Well, that was interesting. Anyway, over here, if we continue to platform... Mm, uh, platform properly. <laughs> if I can actually make it over here, there we go. Alright, let's wait one more time. You want to use Peach so you can float around. Now we want to get Tippy out. Alright, here's another secret block. And there should be one more over there. There should be one more. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we could make that jump, but you know what? Let's not risk it. There's a block. Let's do this thing. Whoa, I almost died there. Well, not died. I almost fell, but anyway. Go into 3D, and over here is another secret passageway, and this leads to... The Flopside Pit of a Hundred Trials. This place cannot be opened until you defeat the Flipside Pit of a Hundred Trials. So, I'm gonna actually have to do that later. But anyway, if, if you head into 3D again over here, there's Welderberg again. Ah, the welcome mat of the Welderberg is always laying at the ready. You are coming here often, yeah? You are not having the job, making the money. But that is neither in the here nor in the there. I've inspected here, yeah. I'm thinking I can make the pipe to Blake Black Tower's base. You're covering the hundred coins for construction, yeah? Are we having the deal? Um, yeah, sure, I'll pay. So this pipe is going to lead us directly to the top of Black Tower, which is in Flopside. <clears throat> I know I haven't really showed off you guys what Black Tower looks like, but there's a reason for that. I'm, maybe I'll show it to you guys later, but for now, we've now got a pipe leading from Black Tower all the way down here to the Flopside Pit of 100 Trials, so... Convenience? Yes, definitely. <clears throat> wow. Anyway, now that we've got that settled, um, that kind of covers everything that I wanted to show off for the prologue. So without further ado, let's head up, save, and... Oh, actually, never mind. I should show off this little area. So over here is the Cafe of Flopside. But if you go into 3D here... A little waterway. Let's swim down. A secret waterway, I should add. Do 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 Come on, get up. Okay, there we go. And over here is another map maker. And a tiny little shop that we can use Dottie to go into, but I don't really need to. So that's basically it. Um, the map makers, they have little secrets that we're going to have to find. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to be officially doing all the maps in order for this 100% walkthrough. I'm kind of deciding on what I want to do for the 100%. Um, not everything in this game is really worth doing it for a 100% walkthrough. Um, case in point, something that we're going to end up doing later. But, without um, delaying or diddly-dallying, um, I actually want to go up to Black Tower. I mean, I want to go up to um, Nolarem's room, and I want to save there, because in the next part, we are not heading off to Chapter 6 yet, but we are going to be doing a tiny little side quest. And by tiny little side quest, I mean probably one of the more annoying side quests in the game. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys when we take on the Piccolo side quest.